Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steam Acrylic coming to you with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to catch Spirit Tomb in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. You can, it's a one-time event that you can do. But right here, we have to go to Seamawville. So right here I'm coming down on Slataport City just to show you guys where it's at. If you guys know where it is, you can go straight there, skip this beginning part. But we're going to have to go there to Seamawville. This spear tomb is going to be at level 50, so make sure you're equipped with the right Pokemon. Catch some, or have some Ultra Balls, Dusk Balls, whatever, to be able to catch it. So here we're going down. We're going to surf. Just right around the corner from Slataport City. Uh, here you can also find the, the scanner. And you need that to get either Ho-Oh or Lugia, depending on your game. But I don't cover that in this video. But, so here I'm going on my Sharpedo over here. So a little left here, you see I'm on Route 108. We're going here, and you see this beautiful shipwreck. We're going over there, and we're going to come right in here. This was called the Abandoned Ship in Ruby and Sapphire, but in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it's called Sea Model. So we're going to go straight here through this door. I forgot to say the requirements are a Pokemon with Surf and with Dive. That's it. So I have my Sharpedo to complete those requirements. We're going to come down here to the left. We're going to Surf. And you're going to see that there's an area here to dive down at. So we're going to dive. You're not going to encounter any Pokemon either. So, And the trainers here are relatively low level, like level 30, I think. But we're going to come over here. We're going to make a right. We do not go down. We keep going right. And now we're going to go up. And then here, we're going to have an opportunity to return to the surface. We're going to go up to the surface. And right as we get up, there's a door here to the left this immediate left we're going to go in you don't need a key or anything you just go in and right here it's kind of the secret it says it feels as though you're being watched dot 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 and so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the top left corner where this bookcase is and we're going to read we're going to press a and it mentions the odd keystone there which has to do with spirit tomb and it says right there it feels as though you're being watched so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our items we don't need to use any, we just go there, I'm on my max repels, so we go in, now we go out, and there it is, the spirit tomb, and it, it automatically battles, so it's important to save a little bit before, like before you hit A on, on that stair, or that bookcase, and here we get the wild spirit tomb, I got my, my Breloom, named nicknamed Soul Seeker, he's my ultimate Pokemon catcher, he knows false swipe and spore, so false swipe's not going to do anything since he's part ghost, he goes for the sucker punch. I go for the spore, put him to sleep, and make it a lot easier to catch him. Right now, I'm also playing at nighttime, just so I can get that dusk ball bonus off. If you guys don't have to. You can. It was pretty easy to catch. You can catch him with an ultra ball if you want, or even a pokeball. It doesn't really matter. But here I go with my dusk ball. I catch him on the first one. It was pretty easy, but you can only do this one time. So, I really suggest saving before. Make sure you catch. Or make sure you buy a good amount of Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, Dusk Balls, whatever it is, and save a little bit before. Because if not, you're going to have to do the whole thing over. It's not that hard. But and that's pretty much it. Level 50, he can read them. But what I like here, you see it, it mentions the odd keystone that's like 109 spirits visured to a, an odd keystone. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys get any questions, let me know. I think it was, it's pretty straightforward. But if you need any help, I can also, I don't know, I can read some for you. It's not going to take me very long. We can trade. But that's pretty much it. just wanted to upload this video for you guys. And just let me know if you got any questions.